Okay, I'm back. So in that situation, I empowered her to stand guard over this, this food I had on my table, right? However, in doing so, that takes a little bit away from what she was already doing. So it takes a little bit of power or focus from what she already had going on, you know, before I ever spoke to her. And so that's ethical because it's not right. It's not wrong. What do I want though? What do I feel is like, or what do in the end, what does the quote unquote, the individual or the individual group feel is right for them that, it, that advances their interests. And so, um, yeah, that advances their interests. So the other, the third caveat is the legal, right? So the legal is whatever people get together and say, these are the best ethics that we want to put on paper because we feel like it advances our group or our in, our efforts. So I look at it like this. Ethics is in the middle. That's really where it is. Morals are beneath ethics and the legal legalistics are above ethics. So the reason they're above ethics is because they say, hey, look, it's not us saying this. It's, it's written down in the law. So we made it a, we gave it a title and put it above ourselves so you can't, you know, you know, don't shoot the messenger. This is, you know, this is from the higher ups and we're just, you know, we're just beneath them. And the morals go beneath the ethics because the morals is for the people who lose out on the ethics. Like they don't, they don't know what ethics is. And um, basically it, well, what was I thinking before? The morals are there for people, for the power list, who are to say, oh, this is right and this is wrong. Ethical people are more like, this isn't a right or wrong situation. This is me with the power. What do I feel I need to do to advance my interest? You can use morals when you're powerless to do, you know, that's, that's your lane underneath me who has the power, who's exercising it over you, I'm the one saying, do this work. You're the one doing the work or you're the machinery of the work being done. That's my ethics. How do I want to get it done? Just depends on how efficient I make my machine or um, if you know engineering terms or how I determine it to be right for me to advance my interest and whatever um, that comes out to be that's my ethics. How you feel about it is your morals, but the morals are underneath the ethics because the ethics are the initiating force. The morals are the stationary force that are acted upon. And I think, I don't know, I'm pretty, that's, yeah, yeah. So y'all wanna argue with me about that? Do it in the comments, I'll be in there. I'm really trying to get into this one because I, I definitely feel and realize that morals are beneath ethics. I think I looked it up too. And it was like the, one of the dictionary definitions, which again, like what becomes a dictionary definition is ethics because it's the power of someone to say this is what it is not is not included. Is that right? Or is it wrong? Who's printing the dictionary? My point exactly. The person who prints the dictionary has the ethics over the morals of whether it's right or wrong to include a certain definition or not include a certain definition. The moral definition would be to include every single possible answer ad infinitum. But you can't do that because you can't. You couldn't read a book <laughs> that had that had an infinite amount of words inside of it. So the ethics come. It, you know, ethics also is. This is where we cut it off. This is where the limit is. Uh, this is what gets included. This is what gets excluded. We choose what gets. We decide what for for all future references. What's included. What's excluded. Um. So that's the that's how a dictionary works because people are deciding what's apart and what is separate.
And that's why there are multiple definitions depending on which dictionary you go to. Ethics. But it's not moral. It's just ethics. And then whatever, um, how those words are tied together, it's more of a legalistic view. So like the actual dictionary itself, the whole dictionary would be like a quote unquote legal document. But each individual word and definition is like is ethical. The ones that don't get included, that don't get that that do get excluded, the powerless definitions, which again, powerless definitions, those are the moral ones because well, it's not that they are the moral ones, more so that if someone were to happen upon them or chance upon them and find that they were not included in the dictionaries definitions of words or well in the dictionaries definitions of the words in the dictionary they could say oh man this is wrong i feel shame i feel i feel sorry i feel some type of remorse that these definitions didn't get included in this dictionary however I'm not the one writing the dictionary. So I think it's wrong they didn't include these definitions, but I don't have the power to, to make my own dictionary. Even though you do have the power to make your own dictionary, even though that person does have the power to make their own dictionary, they just aren't utilizing it or they don't realize it, whichever one, it doesn't matter. The point is the power is not being exercised. And so they can feel bad about these definitions not getting included, the ethical person says, this is my dictionary. This is what I'm including. The legalistic person says, this is the dictionary. So we use these definitions. See how ethics is in the middle. And they put the legal aspect on top to kind of be like, oh, well, there's a high, you know, higher power. I'm not the one in charge, but there's a higher power. But I'm the one who's enforcing and exercising this here. And then I have this guy in the back backing me up. But then the morals is more like, uh, you know, we get acted upon. So we have to make it a moral conversation about like, is that right? Is it wrong? We don't feel like it's right, but we don't feel like it's wrong. Or yeah, we don't feel like it's right. We don't feel like it's wrong. We feel like it's right. We don't, we, we feel like it's wrong. The ethical person says, I hear you. And you have a lot of emotions inside of that. However, this is where I'm going with my emotions. And if it coincides with your emotions, we can put this relationship together in an ethical manner because I say so ethically. And then after that's been done, my legal guy is going to back it up and make that a, a pattern. So, and that's how I feel like it's the ethics is, I'm just coming to realize that ethics is where the power is actually at. And the moral aspects are just, things that are acted upon because morals change, like they change with the times. The ethics though, are what are more consistent and should be focused on because the ethics have the power to change the legals. The legals do what the ethics say. Um, yeah, so as I, as I gain more power, as I gain more power, I'll be exploring this more because the ethics part of the conversation I've, at least in the circles that I'm in, doesn't get discussed that often. However, again, it's a certain amount of power where you have, like, like when I was deciding who was going to live in this property that I'm renting out, that's ethics. Because all these people are essentially the same type of person, make the same type of income, work the same type of job. But who's going to get it? That's where the ethics come in because it's not a right or wrong thing. It's not like, oh, well, you picked this person because they made a dollar less than this other person a year. No, that's not, it's not a right or wrong thing at all. It's just, it's like, it's not that. What it is though is what do I feel is going to be beyond that the best for me in my situation? Ethics. And then I can make that a law like, oh, this type of person who makes this type of income or has this type of job is the best fit, which I have to do because again, ethics, I can't allow everybody. Otherwise it'd be like 60 families living in one house. <laughs> you see how it gets kind of 
like confusing and disorganized. So that's just something I'm gonna um, I'm definitely gonna keep you know in my mind because a lot of times people will people have different morals and since they have different morals they definitely have different ethics because their morals come from their ethics again the, like the ethics yeah the morals come from their ethics oh what they feel like whatever is right or wrong is well actually what do I feel like it for first for me myself what do I feel like is right and then since I'm a I'm interacting with you or I'm acting on you. What do I feel like you should do? What do I feel like your morals should be because I'm who I am? Yeah. So, uh, I think I'm getting into this philosophical discourse. So you want to talk to me about it. You want to find some real applications. You want to figure out how you can do this in your life. So you can organize your life the way it needs to be. Drop a comment. Leave a comment. Somebody, like, let's start a conversation. This isn't something that's ever going to go away. Um, because the English language isn't going to go away. So I recommend all of you read the entire dictionary. Yeah. I'll see you next time.